Right, so we look at the example. Assume that the filtration of volume, 75, 25, 10, 3, and 1 milliliters produce uh, FC. Okay, does anyone got any idea what does FC stand for? No, doctor. No idea. No, that's great. Okay, very honest. It's not a football club. Okay, this is a fecal coliform. Okay, fecal coliform colony counts of 210, 89, 85, 11, and 5, respectively. What is the FC density for the sample? Okay, so we don't seem to understand the questions because we are not in the right mood of learning all these microorganisms in the afternoon. So let us read it again, okay? Assume the filtration of volumes, 75, 25, 10, 3, and 1. Filtration of volume of that. Oh, I see, okay? So basically, this scientist or this serious researcher is doing the filtration with different volumes. So a very hardworking researcher filtering, filtering uh, 75 ml of uh, volume of sam water sample and then do it again with 25 ml of the volume, uh, 25 ml of samples, and then do another filtration with 10 ml and so on and so forth. And with this different, with this different uh, set of volumes, they have different number of colony, okay? So once they filter the 75 ml, they obtain 210, you see, number of colonies. So once they, this person um, filter a volume of 25 ml, he or she obtained 89 number of colonies on the filter paper, on the membrane uh, paper, okay? And once uh, this person, okay, filter 10 ml of sample, they obtain 35 number of colonies, uh, okay? And that's also the case for uh, 3 ml and 1 ml. They have their own different results. So what is the FC density of the sample? So what is the FC density of the sample? So I'd like to bring back to the my whiteboard to show the uh, solution of this example. All right. They were asking you on how to determine the fecal coliform density, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? Yeah, the FC density. Okay. So the FC densities. That is the, uh, what they want you to find out. Okay, remember the formula, Fc is equal, uh, divided by 100 ml, is equal to number of colonies times 100 divided by volume of sample. And the volume must be in ml, in milliliters. All right, uh, for this kind of questions, there are rules that you guys need to know. Okay, if you want to uh, focus first, that, that would be great. So I, I always give time for my student to write down after this, okay? Right. So the, the rule is, okay, for a valid result, the FC count must be between 20 to 60, the FC counts, okay, the fecal coliform counts. So, but what it means is when you have that your, your sample, I mean, the paper, the colonies, okay, once you count the number of colonies on the paper, it has to lie between 20 to 60, then that will give you a valid result. If it's out of this range, it's either greater than 60 or smaller than 20, so the result should be abandoned. You, you should not use them. You should discard them. So if the question asks you on the TC, okay, TC is the total coliform. So the valid result would be between 20 to 80. Okay, so this is something that you need to know. So I probably highlight it with the red color. Okay, although my red is not that red. Okay, so, right, when you look at your results, your question just now, it says when the person filter 75 ml and that person obtained 210, if I'm not mistaken, right? So is that a valid result? Can we use that result or can we not? Cannot, doctor. Cannot, okay, so we discard the results. 
Okay. So once they filter 25 ml, they obtain 89. Is that okay? 89 also not okay. So bin that. Okay, and then the 20, 10 ml, they obtain 35 pounds. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, 10, okay, okay. 10 is okay. We we'll stop that. Okay. What about 3 ml? It got uh, 11. Yes. Can it be accepted? Yes. Cannot. <laughs> cannot it must be between 20 to 60 okay so the the second last and last also cannot be used okay they give invalid results mm -hmm. i forgot your name though akasha right uh -uh. okay okay it's not you cannot accept that because the number of count is 11 it's less than 20. okay since we find that only one uh, sample give uh, acceptable results Okay, the 10 ml, so we choose that uh, results, okay? So the pickle polyform density is equal to, I forgot already, it says number of colonies. So the, uh, the number of colonies accepted is 35, right? Times 100 is that from the formula divided by the volume of sample. So the volume of sample accepted was 10 ml. Okay, so you, okay. Cancel those zeros, so it's becoming 350. Okay, so the volume is in ml, so it is not a unit. Okay? It is not a unit. Okay? The volume must be in ml. Okay, to make it less confusing, so I wipe it out. As long as you know that the volume is in ml, then that's fine. Okay, so what it means, hold on. Okay, Assuming that this is 100 ml water, okay, it has 350 colonies inside it. So you need to write down your answer as it is, without unit, okay? It contains 350 fecal coliform in 100 ml. So that's how you write down your answer. Okay, is that clear? Is there any, any question to ask? Uh, okay, Doctor, I have one question. Okay. Uh, in the question, uh -huh. we have five readings. Right, that's right. So if, let's say, uh, two or three readings that we can accept, uh, how we can okay. All uh, right, I like to hear that kind of question. And I, I'm expecting that kind of questions too, okay? Right, so if you have more than one, okay, giving uh, acceptable uh, results, you mean, okay? What you need to do is to do separately. Let's say that for 25 ml, instead of giving 89 count, okay, let's say you got 58 count. 58 is acceptable because it's between 20 to 60, okay? So what you need to do is you do it separately. So you have 58 times 100 divided by 25, okay? So you get one result and then you do it another one, 35 times 100 divided by 10. So you've got another result. So once you have two results, what you need to do is just to average them, okay? Average them and the average answer is basically representing the number of colony for that river.